Well, hello everyone and welcome to tonight's video of Titanic, the ship, the legend. This is issue number eight and boy is this an exciting one because we're bringing back the forecast and we're adding some white detailing to the top of the Starliner of the hull. Um, as you can see on here, be prepared to get excited. Look at that! We get to put a white strip along the top of the hull. This is so exciting. We're going to be putting some other two bollard pieces, um, further strips on the forecastle. So we're bringing back the forecastle uh, that we've not worked on since probably about, I think it's like issue two. But yeah, as you can see, today is like a ship day. So I thought, Bismarck in the morning, Titanic in the evening. And obviously this is the penultimate issue, guys, because issue eight is the one that we've all been waiting for because now it goes to weekly. So um, issue nine... We should have um, this week at the end Friday because remember I'm filming, uh, I'm running behind so um, I've only had a chance to get this issue now. As you can see coming up in issue 9 we've got uh, clets, is that spaces and a joining panel for the assembly at the boat, a bow, bow, bow even, bow, bow, bow. Uh, <laughs> so as you can, oh that's a nice stamp. The race to the South Pole there. Lots of bits and pieces in here. This is so exciting. It's lovely to um, be getting some more detail on this. And uh, as you can see, this is what we're going to be doing. So a few little bits and pieces, details for forecast here. And they're so naughty because look, we don't get to attach. Oh yes, we do. Sorry, take that back. Um, apologies. Um, uh, I always think ahead. Um, so we've got a bit, this should be okay, providing we get this in okay, because remember the pins can break on this. That looks a bit metal, be interesting if it is, and then we get to put this lovely strip on here. So, in this issue we get a box, so as you can see we've got like a little box here, so this is quite nice. And basically, let's take a look at what we've got in this lovely box. So as you can see, we've got um, a piece of tape there. So that one there, and if you take this out, we've got the, that's obviously, all oh, that's die cast, oh wow, and then in here is the little detailing, so as you can see, box is empty, so in here, let's take a look at these first, because we'll be getting to that a little bit later on, um, and these are the parts, so yeah, that's, oh, yeah, it is, I, I thought it was going to be die cast, that's die cast, oh wow, no, it's plastic. Okay, it's plastic. It feels heavy, that's why I think it's... It feels like die cast. It's very heavy to be plastic. And then we've got this. So does that mean this is a stand for the bit of the ship? Mm. So as you can... Yeah, look at that. Bow support. So very similar to the Room Master. They're providing us with the bow support. Um, and all sorts of wonderful things here. How cool is that? They've stapled the screws to the bag. Um, I just want to dive straight into this. I'm so excited about this. Um, oh, good God. Don't, whatever you do, lose that because that is very, very tiny. Um, so let's get into the bag. As you can see, I'm just going to move it down a bit more. So this is, that feels like die cast, but it's actually, it's very heavy, but it's plastic, I should imagine. So, obviously, we haven't seen this for a very, very long time. Um, probably since issue two, but this is the forecast and the first thing what we need to do first of all is as you can see We've got like these four pillars if you like here What we've got to do you'll see that there's two holes here and two holes here First of all what we need to do is to get these parts here and this is part 8c Which is the clets apparently so the clets um, I have no idea obviously I've never built a ship before so um, this is all new to me. So this is called a clit. And um, what's going to happen is we're just going to put a dollop of glue on this one here. I'll do this off camera because this is a little bit, um, is a little bit runny, this glue. And then what we'll do is we'll sandwich that in and that will go into that one there. As you can see, it does make a slight stain on the forecast, but this is great because obviously we know that this sticker has been starting to peel up. So putting more things on it is really going to make it, you know, weigh down a bit. So, whoops. So, get some more glue. See how runny it is? It's 
it really should have a brush on this um, on this glue but that goes into there like that lovely and I quite like that although it sort of stains it a bit that's great because it feels like it's sort of water on the ship so I really like that so that's that part done the next thing this is so cool how this is designed as you can see we've got a hole here and we've got two parts here what they've done is they've created these two holes to fit over the top of here so sort of anchoring it into the forecast we've then got a hole here under there which is going to be secured with a screw and to even secure it further we're going to be putting a little bit up here so basically theoretically it will feed over the top like that and it says you can apply a little glue near the ends of the guides so basically what they're saying is as you can see you've got guides here but you can see that they lift up if you look like that they lift up a bit so that you can actually put a little bit of glue on the end of that which I think I might um, so we'll take that off like so, so we just see if we can get that out if we can, if not, ah oh, there we go, so what I want to do first things first is I'm going to put a little bit of, not a big bit, but just a dollop onto there, um, and then that will go onto there like so and then feed over the top of there. And what that does then is just, it says to put a little bit on there, but as you can see, it doesn't really stick very well. So yeah, I might just leave that a bit, but yeah. So that's that. And then the next part, what we need to do is we need to take a CP screw and the CP screw is this one here. And it looks as if we're gonna be securing this from underneath. So basically, we'll get this section here and secure that from this uh, screw uh, the screw hole just there. And that's gonna be secured right the way through there like so. And as you can see, very lovely design that. I suspect something will go in there. Um, I'm not too fussed that that's flapping a bit, um, obviously. If I wanted to glue it down like that one, I could, but obviously, you know, I personally feel something will go through there, so that is nice. Look at that, one of the forecasts, all lovely and done. The detail on this at the moment is phenomenal. So that is that for this edge here. Um, so we talking ahead again. Uh, the next thing what we need to do is we've obviously then got these two cleat clets apparently clets or clits or whatever it is um and as you can see you've got two pins there and then you've got two larger pins at the top very nicely done because these longer ones are going to go through these two holes here so again we're going to put some, again we're going to put some glue just a splash onto there and then what will happen is that will go down there like so what i'm noticing here i'll just talk about this a little bit more um obviously it's up to you what you want to do but i might i like to i don't like push fits so i tend to like glue mine in come on so annoying these tiny parts it's a pain in the ass but what i'm noticing is the the paint comes off it's like a glittery sort of paint so uh Oh gosh, that's one of them horrible pins, but I got them in, so that's good. So for the next one, it does say to put glue on either side, but remember guys that obviously it seems to come off, because as you can see there, so just be careful with that. I'm not fussed that there's, you know, there's um, a little bit of residue stain there, that doesn't bother me the slightest. Um, I really don't like this glue. Um, and then that's going to go into this side over here, that's one, these little tiny ones are quite, oh Jesus, you can see it takes the paint off so I, I'm not liking this, oh Jesus, no I can't get that in, These pins are so, they've, they've made them so hard to get in. Um, 
but you really have to give it a brute force to get that in and as you can see it does go in as i said it's up to you how you want to put it in either way you've got to use force to get that down so either way if you push on it you're still going to get a bit of paint that it comes off you can always touch that up um but i like that because it's sort of like a weathered sort of appearance for it then what we're going to do is round about here you can see it's quite hard to get down there but you can see here there's a tiny hole there and there's a tiny hole just there how are we going to get this in i'm not entirely sure but we've got to get this tiny thing here through that hole there um so yeah this is going to be quite hard i think so they want it so the pin is on the inside so basically it will fit down there but again i think they want you to put you may find this easier if you temporarily remove some of the valves yeah so you can they're saying you can remove some of them knowing how fragile them valves are i'm not going to do that um it's not indicating anything about glue for uh the this section here but yeah this is going to be quite a challenge to get in um see what i mean that is I don't want to pull that out because it, actually, actually, not that bad. I will pull it out. <laughs> God, that is oh, that is really challenging to get that in. God, blimey. Oh, this is far too. What the hell is that? This is so difficult to get this in. I mean, it's it's even worse when you've got big hands. I mean, trying to get this through that, see what I mean? It just, it's a type of issue that will test your patience on this one. Oh, Christ's sake. I'm gonna take these bollards out because I need to free up clearance. Come on, man, pick it up. I think it's probably easier to take the hatch out, but we can't do that because I believe that was secured in. Oh, come on, get in there. Right, it seems to be in the... Oh, these are so hard to get in the hole. Um, yeah, um, I think this is one of the reasons why I didn't do ships before. Um, but, oh, God's sake, we're going to be here all day with this. <sighs> Problem we've got with this is it's such a fiddly part. So, I'm going to use the tweezers and then we need to try and anchor it in like that. hard right what we're gonna have to do we may have to bring out the big tweezers because I feel like I'm gonna be here all day with this I've got to do this all over again with the second one so oh, Jesus Christ. right this is absolutely painstaking trying to get this in this hole um right just bear with me i'm gonna get the big ones just bear with me so try again these don't work then we'll use a bigger version we'll use the smaller version but 
Oh, look at that. First time. Brilliant. So maybe tweezers is the way to go. <laughs> so, yeah. And then we'll get the other one. Uh, whoops. See what I mean? I'm like butt fingers here today. Always dropping things. I hate having big hands. Bloody annoying. So then we'll put this one into there. There we go again. How did I get that first one in? Because this one is giving me a little bit, and I've just realised that's around the wrong way, so. Right, I'm going to bring out different tweezers now because this is what day's filming does to you. It can get you a little bit grumpy, but oh no. I can't understand why this is so hard to get in. I ain't liking this at all. Trying to get that through there is. People that make it look so easy, but it's so hard getting that in. I mean, I'm not fussed if you know the paint comes off a bit because remember that I'm doing one modded and one isn't modded. So, God blind me. That one goes in there like that. Come on, man. Good boy. Okay, and then that one. <sighs> Whew! That was a challenge and a half. God, blimey. And then we've got to put the bollards all the way back in again. So we'll just secure them. So that was a bit challenging. Um, to get in, really, they should have been put. That should have, these should have come with the hatch issue. Because if I was designing this, I would have put the, you know, them in first, then do the hatch. So, word of advice: never glue anything down if you know you've got to go back to it later to fit another part. Right. So that's that all done. So now we get the exciting bit, so that's the end of, whoops, sorry, low battery there, sorry, 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 come on. Um, so that's the end of that section. We've now got to put the little, so I'm just putting the plug in, we're now going to put the forecast over to one side because the next step is we're going to be working on this lovely section right here, look at this, this is absolutely gorgeous, look at the size of that. That is stunning. So you can see how big this is going to be. And what's going to happen is that's going to sit, you know, on that platform that we did last time, this sort of shelving. What will happen with this is it's going to feed round here and anchor basically onto there like that. But from what I understand, it anchors like that. How cool is that? This is a beast. That's awesome. So this is... This is absolutely fantastic. So that will go into there like that. And they need to go in with a BP screw. So the BP screw. This is... So there will be no diamond painting tonight. Because obviously we're doing a double ship. So we've got Bismarck and Titanic. I'd love to do Britannic. Which was Titanic's sister ship. And then we'll secure a screw through that hole there. So if we just, oh, come on. Why does everything got to be so fiddly? Oh, Jesus. That's it, that's the screw gone, great. Oh. 
See, my videos are unedited because I like to show you the challenges in this. You know, if we've got a part that's quite challenging, I like to show you that part that is challenging. So, we'll secure that down there. This is gorgeous. I'm going to show you something in a minute, guys. And then the next part is we're going to put another screw through this end here. Oops, what was that? And then, obviously, that'll go down there that way. Into there. Look how gorgeous that looks. And then what will happen is, for an extra double treat, what will happen is, that is going to act as a shelving. And then what will happen is, that will connect into there like that. And that is how deep that... This is basically how deep this ship is going to be. So you're looking at about that much depth inside the hull. But yeah, so that obviously will secure onto there. You can see that we've got screw holes here which will anchor onto that little white part there. So it will be bolted onto there like that, which is quite nice because um, that's going to be beautiful. And it will bolt through that hole there, through that hole, so like that. So that's that. Now, last but not least, what I want to do is I want to just grab something. So bear with me again. Okay, so remember I said uh, I found the Titanic logo. We just need to put that into there. So we'll add a little bit of glue on one end, a little bit of glue on the other end. And then, all that's left to do on here is bolt that down to there. How gorgeous is that? That is absolutely stunning. Um, it's a little bit of residue, but I can get a little paint and type over that. But remember, it's going to have like a modded effect. I've never done anything like this before, and I'll tell you what, this is absolutely stunning. You need to get this build I'm being serious. Harshet have the quality, and this build is quality. So you need to get this build. Don't get the Eagle Moss one, because that's all wooden. I would urge you to get this build. But yeah, wow. So yeah, nice to do a little bit more of the, um, you know, the forecast there. Um, a little bit of white residue on that, but I'll try and clean that up a bit. But yeah, that is, it now starts to look like a proper ship. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for watching. That has been Titanic. We'll see you with issue number nine very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.